Hello and welcome to the final stretch of the Bridalicious Bootcamp educational videos. I so hope they've been of value to you and encourage you on your journey to the aisle. But one of the most asked questions I hear is, Sally, what diet is the best? There are so many diets swirling around out there. There's vegetarian, there's vegan, there's paleo, there's low carb, there's Atkins, there's lemon detox. And everyone kind of swears that theirs is the best. In this video, I'm gonna tell you which diet actually is the best. So stay tuned. Hey girls, Sally here from Bridalicious, health coach, exercise physiologist, sports nutrition advisor, and makeup artist. Devoted to helping you look and feel great for your wedding without turning into a bridezilla. So, the diet that's best is the one that works for you. Everybody's different, everyone's budget's different, everyone can tolerate different foods, got a different body in a different season of life. And the best way to eat is the healthiest way that you can sustain. If you feel like depriving yourself and you hate the idea of food and cooking, then you're on the wrong diet for you. But let's look at why I believe some of these good diets have a few things in common, which are actually good for us. Firstly, they raise nutrition awareness and attention. And research is now showing that simply by paying better attention to what you put in your mouth, it's a key factor in whether you lose fat, get lean and improve your health. Secondly, they focus on food quality. Very few diets recommend that you eat more processed, chemically laden junk food. Thank goodness. Instead, nearly every diet recommends eating whole, minimally processed, nutrient rich foods. And that may be one of the most important nutri nutrition interventions that most diets, at least good diets, offer. Thirdly, they help eliminate nutrient deficiencies. A properly designed diet of any kind eliminates some of the most common nutrient deficiencies. Fourthly, they help control appetite and food intake or portion sizes. When we're more aware of what we're eating, we choose more satisfying, high quality foods and eliminate nutrient deficiencies. And then we almost always end up eating less total food. We feel more satisfied, we lose fat, gain lean muscle and perform better. Finally, most good diets promote regular exercise. When people start paying attention to what they're eating, they usually start thinking about physical activity as well. In fact, many of the diet camps recommend regular exercise, which is a good idea since focusing on diet alone may actually interfere with establishing a consistent exercise routine, particularly if you're opting for a very depriving kind of diet. So I hope these five points have, have answered for you, or at least helped answer that long burning question, what diet is best? Do your research, define your goals, listen to your body and adopt a lifelong eating style that's not just a quick fix. If you want to embrace a program that offers you the chance to explore a variety of different nutrition approaches, then check out Bridalicious Bootcamp. See ya!